Hi everyone, welcome to Crafting with Mimi. I found this tray for five bucks at Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square section, and then I used some of Dollar Tree's chalkboard paint to paint all the way around the tray's edges only. And then I took some matte gray acrylic paint and painted all the way around the inside of the tray. Now, as I was painting, um, I guess I hit a spot of black paint that wasn't quite dry and it started streaking up the gray, but it actually worked out because I loved how it was looking. So I just went with it. And then while the gray was still wet on my brush, I just hit the black edges of the tray. And y'all, in crafting, anything can happen, and sometimes it works out really well, as in this case. I loved it. And then I just went all the way around the outside edges of the tray, too. After that, I put it aside to dry and took this adorable tea towel I found at Hobby Lobby. I just had to have her. Not quite sure what I was going to do with her when I got her, but uh, once I was looking at her, I knew I wanted to do this project with her. So I just cut all the way around the chicken. And then after that, I just shook it real, real good to get all the lint off of it. I mean, it is a towel. And then I just vacked it up with my handy little vacuum. I took some fabric Mod Podge. And instead of like flipping her over, putting the Mod Podge on and then flipping her back over, that's going to create more lint. So I just carefully picked up little sections and put the Mod Podge on and then stuck her down. And this was great because none of the towel um, started flaking off or anything. It was really awesome. So once she was all stuck down, I took this fencing. Guys, I got this for a dollar at um, Hobby Lobby. There were four of them or six maybe in the pack. But then I noticed it was too small. So I had to come up with a plan. I took a piece of chunky nautical rope and glued it down to the bottom of the tray. And then I put a strip of glue in front of the rope and that's how I adhered it into the tray and it worked out absolutely perfectly. And then I took some florals that matched the towel and just carefully placed them onto the fence and I used a popsicle stick to hold it into place to save my fingertips. If you're a crafter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So once I got these on and they were nice and secure, once they cooled off, I took this little piece of wood I found at Michael's and some Dollar Tree letters and created this little sign to hang on the fence. Now, isn't this cute? I am super happy with how this turned out and I hope you are too. Don't forget to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate you all so much. Have an awesome day and I will see you soon. Bye for now.